Hey everyone, the newest patch recently dropped and oh boy, did it shake up the arsenal for us. A bunch of weapons got tweaked, some got a little love and powered up, while a few others got toned down. In today's spotlight, we're zeroing in on the Jar Dominator. This beast is part of the explosive weaponry lineup and has just received a massive upgrade. Now, it's skyrocketed to the top of the charts as one of the standout weapons in the game. Here at Insightful Gaming, you know we're all about giving you the inside scoop and strategies to help you rule the game. So, for anyone out there looking to bring a little democracy to the battlefield in the most awesome way possible, you've hit the jackpot. Today, we're diving deep into the Jar Dominator. We'll cover what it excels at, where it might lag a bit, and the real deal how it stacks up against every other enemy in the game. Let's get into it. If you find this info useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and smash that subscribe button for more Helldivers content. All right, let's get into it. Today, we're zeroing in on the Jar 5 Dominator, a beast of a weapon that packs a punch with its two-stage, jet-propelled rounds exploding on impact. In the latest game patch, the Dominator truly lived up to its name with a whopping 50% increase in damage, jumping from 200 to 300 per shot. When you fire this bad boy, it feels significantly more powerful, like you've been handed the keys to an arsenal of destruction. Plus, its stagger effect got a serious upgrade. Now, when you land a hit, enemies are knocked back, giving you that much needed breathing room in the heat of battle. Post damage buff, this powerhouse now dishes out a whopping 300 damage per shot, translating to an eye-watering 1200 damage per second at a rate of 4 shots per second. It's razor sharp accurate, but watch out for a drop off beyond 40 meters. When it comes to handling, be prepared for a kick that could rival a mule's, especially with its noticeable drift to the left during sustained fire. With a reload time clocking in at 2.5 seconds, you'll need to strategize your reloads on the battlefield. What makes the Dominator stand out is its classification as an explosive weapon. This means it not only doubles the damage at weak points, but also delivers a colossal boost in damage against the rear ends of bugs think spewers, chargers and titans. There's also chatter that weapons with superior armor penetration, like the Dominator, benefit from an increased weak point multiplier, amplifying damage on critical hits beyond the base impact. Dominating the charts as the primary weapon with the highest single target damage output, its medium penetration makes it a nightmare for hefty foes. Precision is key, land your shots well, and you'll see its potential to obliterate virtually anything. However, it's not without its downsides, bot suppression, and movement can throw off your aim, and its projectiles have a bit of a lag, making moving targets a bit tricky to nail. Thanks to its explosive damage and medium armor penetration, the Dominator excels at taking down the big baddies by hitting them right in their weak spots. It already tops the charts with the highest single-target DPS among primary weapons, and this damage can double upon hitting weak points. Ideal for tackling moderately armored targets or the more formidable enemies like Hive Guards, Brood Commanders, Devastators, or Scout Striders, the Dominator shines brightest when paired with a crowd-clearing support weapon stratagem. Whether it's the Stalwart, Machine Gun, Arc Thrower, or Flamethrower, Having one of these in your arsenal alongside the Dominator makes for a deadly combo on the battlefield. All right, let's dive into the Dominator's performance against a range of foes, kicking things off with the Terminids. This weapon is a dream against medium armored enemies. For instance, facing off against warriors? A headshot means instant downfall, which is incredibly satisfying. Thanks to the recent buff, clearing out groups of warriors has never been easier. Moving on to the Hive Guards, these tougher nuts require a bit more effort. Aiming for their heads, they'll succumb after three to four shots. Body shots will need about four to five, but that's hardly a deal breaker. You'll really notice the Dominator's enhanced power when taking on Hive Guards. Then there are the Brood Commanders, who are somewhat on par with the Hive Guards in terms of toughness. They might pose a challenge, but with the Dominator in your hands, they're not much of a hassle. A few well-aimed shots to the head, and down they go, quick and easy. As for the charges, it's generally wiser to lean on your support stratagems for dealing with them. My go-to support stratagems include the Quasar Cannon and the Arc Thrower, which are hands-down cracked currently in the game. 
Wrapping up our rundown on the Terminids, let's not forget about the Spore Spewers. With the Dominator, they're practically a cakewalk, going down after just a couple of shots. Shifting gears to the Automatons, let's start with the Light Armoured Troops. The Dominator truly excels here, making short work of these robot ranks. A single headshot is all it takes to dispatch a troop. And this is a game changer, especially against those pesky rocket troops. For Berserkers, target their glowing bits. It takes about five to six shots to take one down. It might require a bit of finesse, but it's highly effective. Then there's the Devastator the Dominator really stands out here. A few precise hits, two to three shots aimed at their glowing red head and their history. They're surprisingly simple to deal with when you've got the Dominator. This holds true for shield devastators too. Aim for the glow behind their shields and you're looking at a two to three shot takedown. Devastators, especially the rocket launching variety, can be a nightmare. But with the Dominator, they're a walk in the park. Now, onto the hulks, these heavily armored brutes are a different story. The trick without resorting to support stratagems is to flank them and target their vent. A stun grenade can be a lifesaver here. Toss one, circle around, and a couple of shots in the vent will do the trick. For added firepower, the anti-material rifle, quasar cannon, or even the arc thrower are fantastic supports against hulks, but more on that in another video. After putting the revamped Jar Dominator through its paces, it's clear this weapon is now a force to be reckoned with earning its place among the elite primary weapons alongside the likes of the Sickle and the Scorcher. The Dominator distinguishes itself with its lethal efficiency against large targets, boasting the highest single target DPS among all primaries. This is further amplified when hitting weak points, thanks to its explosive nature and enhanced penetration, especially after its latest buff, making it a top-tier choice. However, it's not all smooth sailing. The Dominator comes with its challenges, namely a significant recoil and a limited magazine size of just 15 rounds. These are hurdles that require patience and practice to overcome. But master its quirks and you've got a behemoth slayer on your hands, transforming you into a formidable force on the battlefield. And that's my take on the updated Jar Dominator. Remember though, at the heart of it, this is a team game. The true key to success lies in how well you complement your squad, choosing weapons and stratagems that enhance your collective strength. I'm super curious to hear your views on the Dominator's overhaul. Jump into the comments with your thoughts or experiences. If this review helped or entertained you, I would appreciate a like on this video. Until we meet again, have an incredible week, keep being awesome, and I'll see you in the next adventure.